Hi, I'm Elizabeth Williams Bushy, and I write the column for science called Ask Elizabeth. And I have a question from Grant in Ohio. He has two red starbursts, and he wants to know how he can tell which one is chewy. So I called the starburst company. And I asked them about Starburst and how you could tell which red one might be chewy. I found out a lot of things. I found out that Starburst makes a lot of different candy because they're owned by the Mars company. They make Skittles, for example. And they make Snickers. They make Twix. And I would have shown you all that except that I ate them. So, sorry about that. Um, anyhow, what... Um, what makes one Starburst candy more chewy than another, even if it's the same color? I wanted to know. So the Starburst company was very nice, but they could not tell me that much because apparently Starburst is top secret. But I did find out. I called up some professors at some universities. And I found out that Starburst is basically taffy taffy candy and if you've ever made taffy which you should not ever do without a grown-up because you can give yourself a very bad burn because taffy is made at very very high temperatures you have to boil sugar for very 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 and sugar gets very very hot you can get a burn like that one on my hand so don't ever do that by yourself you have to do that at a grown-up with a grown-up um, but what you do when you make taffy is after you boil the taffy sugar and butter and all that stuff down You have to pull it You have to and pull it and pull it and pull it for about 10 minutes uh, Sort of like this clay that I've got here for you to look at um, And if you're wondering what I'm doing with these plastic bags This is Sculpey clay and it tends to leave the color on your hands So if you don't have gloves, this is a little trick you can use You can use plastic bags to keep your hands um, so what you do is you pull the taffy like I'm pulling this clay, which is not working that well because the clay is still hard, which is a lot like the taffy gets. Um, you have to pull it and pull it and pull it. So you pull it and pull it and pull it. And what that does, just like it's doing to the clay, and here, you know what, I'm just gonna get this red on my hands. Um, as you pull the taffy, like I'm pulling this clay, okay, except the taffy doesn't usually break apart. See how that's pulling? Um, what that does is it puts air in the taffy. Um, every time you pull it, air bubbles form inside the taffy. Not big, fat air bubbles so that it looks like a sponge, but tiny little air bubbles that form in the taffy. And that's what makes the taffy chewy, are those little air bubbles. It softens it and makes it, makes it chewy. Not so chewy that it's like um, marshmallows, but chewy enough so that it's chewy taffy. Starburst, like most manufactured candies, is made in factories, and it's not made by people, it's made by machines. But still, it because it's a candy and it's organic, it's sugar, it's candy, you know, different heats, different, you know, sometimes more air gets into more, you know, different pieces of the candy than others, and that's why some pieces are chewier than others, because some taffy gets pulled and more air gets into more pieces and less air gets into other pieces. And that's why sometimes you can have two red pieces of Starburst and one can be more chewy than the other because some more air got into the one piece than it did into the other. So the more air in a piece of Starburst, the chewier it is, and that's why. So I hope, Grant, from Ohio, that that answers your question. And if you, any of you have any other questions for Ask Elizabeth, I will be happy to call absolutely anybody you want and get the answer. So thanks for writing in, Grant. I really appreciate it. Have a great day.